Hey YouTube, this is Poke Life Lessons. I brought my friend here. Friend? Hi YouTube, <laughs> thank you for having me. So today, it's already been like, not a long time since my last video, maybe seven or eight years, but uh, all 24 views are probably me. Today we're gonna be going over some Pokemon cards. Now a lot has changed since last time um, in both me and my friend's lives. Um, we both um, got new degrees, we both got new jobs, um, so I got married, um, and Pokemon cards since then have gone up faster than some investments. And so, as you've accurately predicted, right? And so, it's kind of ironic that on this table we've got this thousand dollar gold bond, we've got these two dollar bills, and we've got like four ounces of silver, and probably the most valuable stuff are those Pokemon cards. And I do have to say, um, Going off on a tangent Poke Life lessons, one thing that I've noticed is that we don't invest in physical things anymore. When I go to a friend's house now, I notice that they don't even have DVDs, books, or anything like that. They just have a Kindle or everything's digital nowadays. So I really appreciate the, the precious art that you're collecting every single day. Thank you. I love that. And that's a great point. One of the things we'll talk about in this video, it's like so many things have gone digital. This is a, this is a gold bond got off of eBay just because it's amazing. To your point, it's like, look how far we've come. You used to have to cut out these coupons and turn them in for gold. Um, and nowadays you just use Robinhood. Um, and so the market has changed significantly. We'll talk about that. I and think. again, you, you own stocks now, but there aren't physical things. They're right. just over the internet or these digital things. So it's so nice to have Pokemon cards or these precious metals as we're gonna show you here in a minute. So why don't you go ahead and show them the booster box. Uh, for Christmas, my friends got me this booster box and um, this is Rebel Clash, it's 36 packs. It's always been a life dream of mine to open a booster box. Completely sealed. Yep, except for where I kind of ripped it, but that was my fault. Um, Pokemon Company there, so this is the real deal. You cannot find these on the shelves right now. It's February, actually it's March, 2020. So that is one item. And then over here is the Elite Trainer Box. Um, as you guys are probably familiar, this has got um, eight packs in it, a bunch of sleeves and some other junk um, that's probably not as good to hold on to as like a first edition Charizard, but you never know. Maybe they dropped one in here. Yeah, me and Poke Life Lessons grew up watching the TV show and we actually played the Pokemon cards. So our Pokemon cards growing up, we used to have rubber brands around them and the quality was kind of low. Um, because we used to actually play the game, um, but now it's it's amazing to see how far the the, the card game has evolved. Do the honors. So oh, we've no, got a, you. okay. So yeah. we've got a method to our madness, which is because the sleeves are in here, we're gonna open this up first. That way, uh, once we get to the valuable cards, um, and I don't want to wreck this entirely, but I always have a hard time opening things. Yeah, listen to that ASMR from opening up the plastic. So, whoop. wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, I've never opened one of these oh, man, before. man, a player's guide. Yeah. So this, is, while he opens that up, I'll just show you. This book right here is just full of pictures and information that I don't really know if we need to care about. Just all new Pokemon in here, the V and V Max. So uh, my friend and I don't really have such good like knowledge. I'm not sure if you've played these games recently. We probably played the first edition. But... We stick with the classic because the classics are really what's uh, what's important to us and close to our hearts. And here's the cards list. I bet you they're gonna show, Do they? would they show the secrets in here? The secret rares or just, I know we're looking for, yeah. We're looking for the Sonya, I think is the most valuable card in the set. And then maybe some of these. Frost Moth is also up there. Right. Uh, and then Bosses uh, is also an important card. So anything um, rainbow colored is what we're looking for. Set that back here. All right, you do it this time. And here we go. I'm gonna so, move this bond here. I hope you guys are excited at YouTube. Whoops, Pokemon cards. So as we open, there. looks like everything's just so neatly packed and organized. Um, just want to make sure that we look at it here. Looks like we have to lift this out. Yep, go for it. Well, what's this here? Oh, tr this is the card game rules. Very important, as we said. Right. Me and Poke Life Lessons have played uh, the game a lot. Um, and this is all the accessories that come with it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Made in China. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Isn't this a Japanese game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little ironic. Uh, I guess everyone's outsourced everything to China, but a lot of it's coming back to the U.S. Kind Just of a funny. little nice cover. We'll probably put this in a backdrop somewhere. Look at that. So go ahead and oh, for more. We'll, we gotta see what else is in the trading card deck. Oh, these are just little holders. Interesting. So Energies. Right. Very important. So these feel sleeves. heavy. Sleeves. We probably should uh, yeah, use open those sleeves. Up. Yeah. These feel heavy. The last time I did a video, which was again the last time I posted, I was able to figure out which ones were the heaviest. So. Um, I'm not really feeling much of a difference right now. I'm gonna figure out my heaviest one and then I'm gonna see which one you think is the heaviest and then we'll see which one of us is right. Uh, one's like, I'm thinking this one's the heaviest, but see see if you can differ from me and then we'll see if All it's right, got the so hollow. That is definitely, ooh. And while he's going hmm. through this, um, I think my friend had a really valuable point. Um, it's amazing how much um, you know finance has changed, investing has changed. Which one you come up with? I'm gonna say this is the heaviest. Cool. So, so you're be, voting this yeah. and I'm voting that. Pack battle, very so good. So we'll just do that at the end yeah. maybe, because we, we clearly know what we're doing. And, <laughs> and we can scale micro milligrams here. Right, so I opened this first pack and we're gonna learn the, uh, the lesson here. We don't know if it's two cards from the back or whatever, but uh, tell me what you think about um, being able to invest all of your earnings in Robinhood instantly and just you know, like you said, Lambos or food stamps. Yeah, earlier I was talking about the importance of um, how access to money has grown for younger kids. As we were growing up, it was impossible for us to gain, um, you know, the ability to to just get a huge loan and be able to go on Tesla options. Um, that used to be impossible. So. I would think that that's maybe a rare or something, isn't it? There's the uncommon. You know, I don't yeah. even know what some of these are. Skunk Tank, Char Jug, Shatot, Litwick. I mean... Should I sleeve this? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're looking for the shiny ones. Corsola, um, Bionicle is a common. I didn't even know that existed. There's a beautiful site there, Flashback to the Past. Um, that one's a common. Will be... Here's a reverse hollow. This is a common. Snover, which is cool. We'll wow. probably set that one aside. There it is. We've got a. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this card. Grim Snarl. Easy enough. Holographic. So off to a good start TV. here. That's We're going to awesome. definitely sleeve this one. Yep. I'll sleeve this reverse hollow. Perfect. And then I'll sleeve the other one. But it was three to the front, right? Yep. Three to yep. the front. Yep. You got oh, it. Go Just ahead. got lucky with that somehow. So <laughs> this nice. table is a little wobbly. Next one's you. Did we put our, yeah, we did put ours aside. I'm sure there's an art to open these packs. What are your thoughts on uh, how we should open these packs? Because I know some people that really oh. go right for the center here. Um, this is what I did. And then I'm kind of a monster. I kind of go nuts on it, so. I would say do what you're gonna do. I mean, th this is my quality standard right here. Not very high. So a lot of people like to go for that center spot, which is kind of really hard. Um, but I mean, yeah, well, I don't know what's the best way to open this. Well, enjoy it. I mean, th this is probably the first pack you've opened in over a decade, right? See, nice. look, look, look at that. Look okay, at that. Look so at we're learning here today. Look at the art of it. Beautiful. I'm gonna. And then now you can sleeve the sleeve. Ah, excellent. For the long-term so investors. We'll go ahead and put three to the back. And there is a code card for anyone who plays the online game. I don't know if that's a thing. I've never tried. Oh, we show it to the camera there. Oh, so they can take the code? Yep, oh, exactly. Awesome, awesome. Enjoy the code. Um, so let me make sure I have the right angle. Do I have the right angle there? Looks like I do. Ooh. <laughs> Sun curse. Stuff will see. All these are like got to be the brand new gen. I think this is what Ooh, was. Hollow. Back to back. Reverse hollow. Reverse hollow. We'll is that, that one the rare? Did we, or is it not? That's That's the rare, isn't it? Is that the rare? Did I mess yeah. up? How did maybe it's two from the back, three from the back? I guess we're gonna learn. What did we're you do? Learn. You did three from the I back. I did three from the front. Uh, oh, I should have done three from the back. back. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, we're professionals here. <laughs> so, so this is our rare. Uh, awesome. <laughs> mm, glad that we messed it up on a on a on a not a great uh, card here. But we have full. We have a Sonia uh, trainer. Oof. So. Um, 
but it's not a full art. We're looking for the full art here. And then uh, just your standard run in a mill of cards here. Yep, and let's um, power through the next one as you separate yep. those out. Yep. Um, I'm gonna give this beauty a shot. Um, I'm not like huge on the packs, but some people have more patience than others. So I'm gonna give this like, okay, there we go. It did work perfectly for me. So now I can't undo that. I guess I just have to open this. But yeah, going back to Robin Hood, it's just amazing how, you know, they used to preach fundamentals and things like that. And all of a sudden it's just, it's just gambling. Like you right. said, you can write right. options. Like you can be an options trader. Like I feel like you have to be, I'm going to do one, two, three from the back. I feel like you have to really know what you're doing to mess with options. And yet anyone can do it these days. Metacham, Lampert, um, Training Court. I wonder if there are any um, non fun trainer rares like i know there's the sonias and stuff of the world but i wonder if there's any like you know professor oaks from the old oh. days hatenas are reverse looks like that's a common and we got a garbador which is just literally a garbage card <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll yeah, set these out the to the side and you're up next yep yep so but i have and enjoyed then... being on on the apps you know trading because i remember when i started investing eight years ago or whenever i made this um, my my last video, I had to pay a broker $8 to buy, $8 to sell. And um, and I also had to buy in like whole lots. Like you couldn't buy partial shares. You had to buy like, I think I had to buy lots of a hundred. So a lot has changed from, from you know, fees to you can trade for free. So it's three from the back to the front, right? Yep, you got yep, it. Yep, I got it now. Oh wow, that's a good card. Look at that. Hammer arm, 140 HP. I mean, this is this is not a big throw. Beware. Speed energy. Polly Pepper. Ruben. Electabuzz. Natu. Make sure Hone Edge. I'm kind of messing up here. We got something special coming up. Ooh. Ooh. That is nice sick. looking. Sick. That is a reverse rare too. That is wow. awesome. That's that worth seeing. Awesome. Ooh. Oh my god. And we got our first uh, full art. It is a <laughs> wow. Three hundred forty HP. Dangerous nose. Copper jaw. V Max. Copper jaw. And that's the guy that's on the right here. I'm pretty sure. Just this guy. This crazy like licky tongue looking. Oh, guy. and it looks perfect. The card is printed perfectly. That's a PSA 10 right there. PSA folks. 10 if we've ever seen one. Yeah. Let's Feels look at the solid. back. Pretend like we can talk to the centering. So it's top and bottom centering. <laughs> I think it looks good. Sometimes I look for whitening at the edges. It's okay. Looks like from left to right, this left is a little bit thinner than right. over here on the right. Maybe. So I would say the contrast is like if you were on your TV, the contrast is like a 90 out of 100. Uh, brightness is probably looking at a 95, which is pretty good. Um, and the hues on your TV are also uh, there as well. Very so, insightful. All yeah. right, sleeve it. I'm Let's trying go. to make it relatable to the people watching. <laughs> you mean like millennials? I'm a millennial. It's okay. We'll open up the next one. I do want to say that the camera didn't catch it, but I dropped the car. We're just throwing things over there. They don't even need to be energy cards. Wow, this one's coming apart <laughs> quite nicely. Right this is there. now a PSA 11 since I dropped it. That's right. <laughs> now you need to sign it. So it is amazing how valuable the cards have gotten over the years. Like we're over here talking about Robin Hood. Imagine if we had kept our first edition Charizard. It's three hundred thousand dollars. I remember being a uh, ten year old and at or nine and asking my uh, asking Santa Claus for um you know a first edition charizard and santa claus probably laughed and lo and behold i was a long-term investor because if i had that 200 hundred dollar car from back then that 200 hundred dollar card today is worth three hundred thousand dollars so wow all right a coughing blast from the past and actually i don't think i did the card trick so one two three let's see if i don't mess up here another beware car coal hatrum hatrum coughing <laughs> that took a lot for me not to miss say that one. I Impidimp or something. I almost said Impidimp. Limp. Impidimp. Imp Impidimp. Very nice. Shinx. I saw Shinx. something shiny. Sandy Gas. Now that looks like a donut. I'm telling you, they got like really either creative or uncreative with these cards. What is that? 
It looks like someone just melted a marshmallow outside and stuck a popsicle in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sand heap Pokemon. Okay, good to know. I mean, they really just kind of ran out of, ooh, that looks nice. That ooh, is just We got uncommon. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant and a non-hollow Scyther. So that other Scyther we pulled is is obviously... Oh yeah, go ahead and show it. It's definitely sleeved. It's a uh, yeah. It's not perfect centering. You can tell with the words um, and the height. It's off. I love that card though. Um, I love that metallic sheen. It's nice. Yeah, and this is it reminds nice me of Red follow. Lobster. Very nice. So go ahead and set these aside. It does. It's like a flying lobster insect. All right, you get the this one, and then we're Wait, gonna. This do... is the one you chose. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No, you, no, no. You're right. You're, you're right. right. You're right. I screwed that up. Was that? Which one did you choose? Yeah, which one? I have no there? idea now. You messed it all up. All right, well, I guess you're going to have to open two, and that's okay, because you're going to open two anyway. I think it was this one. Let's go with this right. as my... Okay, yeah, yeah dude, that feels I tired. can't remember. I messed up. If, if you... Talking to YouTube comments about how I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get, like, ten people watching, so... And I'm going to be nine of those ten. So yeah, um, well, ten times a million is ten million viewers. That's a lot of money. You know what else is crazy? And we've talked about just a little bit of everything briefly here today. Is um, just Can the I cards on that, the yeah, the cards on the market um, here. You know, on Facebook Marketplace, you have full grown adults selling Pokemon cards like it's the black market. It's yeah, insane. people putting in their bathtubs. I've never heard of well, what's going on. It's a phenomenon, but. It's amazing to see because it shows that we're taking over. This is kind of cool. That's right. Oh, that's got to be the ev evolution of the sand heap guy. It shows that we're taking over as young people. We're getting old. We have money. We have nostalgia, just like everybody else. A red adapter. That's really this is cool. our version of baseball cards, I think. Right? Yeah, it's really cool because we. Ooh, Ooh, wow, oh, I see some a, good stuff. That is a beautiful card. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Melodic Ooh, V. So wow. We've got this. It's and this an is uncommon. A hollow. It's kind of hard to tell, but both are hollow. This is definitely, you can see the eyes. I think you've got the um, gold hands. I started off good, but you're the one pulling all the good stuff. Well, I told so you this card, I told you this one kind of fell heavy. I don't know if it was this one. You kind of messed up the yeah tree, changed it up on now it. i'm gonna say it was this one let's see how yours goes <laughs> all right let's see well you're gonna have the benefit of the doubt because yeah, that's get yours that's two. yours all right i'm probably not gonna open this one perfectly but yeah to your point you know all the all the people our age now the millennials who grew up with pokemon this is their new baseball cards and it's crazy because there's value and nostalgia there always has been you know i've got some coins and stuff here and in, in coin collecting stamp collecting I think stamp collecting's really gone out of style since emails have happened. And it does make you question where the history of coin collecting is going to go because everything's going digital. We're talking Bitcoin, Dogecoin and stuff. But, uh, you know, all those rich um, people who work in Silicon Valley with Google and Yahoo, all of a sudden, all those nerds have a ton of money and they're willing to drop 500 grand for a first edition set of Pokemon cards. And it makes the rest of us, it's hard for the rest of us, you know? All right, we're good. All right, this is what I thought was the heaviest pack. So I was able to do this last time. Oh, oh I already wow. Screwed up already? The trick. I already screwed up the cool. trick. This is a rare. So for whatever it's worth, this is a Galarian Surfetched. Maybe it's an That's evolution. A nice of card. Look, that bird. I don't want to mess with that bird. And oop, nope, I was wrong. A Snorlax. Wonk, That's wonk. worth a lot. All he does is eat and sleep, except right here he's... No, he's eating. Looks like he's eating. A so. Snorlax, dude. That was one of my favorite Rare characters watching this show because he was just so funny. That is a fun card. Yeah. Um, Lexio, I, f I feel like they recycled this art because I feel like I've seen that card before somewhere. Dracolax. We Stumpy, sleeve the nostalgia cards. Clefairy. This is kind of nostalgic. And Voltorb. No one likes Voltorb. Voltorb is cool, but not worth the nostalgia. That's right. Yeah. Like a, all, all right, right. here we I go. Think, I think you're the, the gold hands right here, the diamond hands. Diamond hands. No diamond paper hand, hands baby. here. Go big or go home. No paper hands. It's all hands. about opening it properly, too. Just, like, really getting in there. Making <laughs> sure. <laughs> you think it's funny, but it's, it's part of the process here. Ooh, Look at how clean that, that open was. <laughs> if you want to show this card here. Excellent. And I'll take, what is it, three from the bottom. Yep. Put him up top. You kind of messed this up though, and I've messed up a lot of times. All right. Fan Trump, another Galarian Farfetch. I don't know. I think we messed this up. I know. I feel like we definitely look at that. Is that some sort of uh, a, tr a it looks hollow good. trainer? You're right. 
There's our rare. There's our rare. Toxicity. So, is huh. it three from the back? We messed that up twice. We're going to have to go super slow on the next one. Yeah, it must be three from the back then. Okay. To, to the front. Yeah. It's cool. definitely three from the back to the front. I'll put that here. And we're going live here. We're going off the cuff. So now so. you have to... Yeah, there's no... You know, we're not going to buy a box and pretend like we got a dark Charizard here. Um, no resealing or anything. This is this is legit. And we're doing Two this grown men. Cuff. That's we're right. We're have a heart for, a heart and soul. But as you were saying about physical assets, I, I really... Uh, you know, I feel like it's it's something that if I were to give one advice to kids, it's like buy things you like that are physical. I mean, everything's just become digital nowadays. Everything's on your phone. Um, it's just it's just not worth your time anymore. Um, I, was, I opened the last one. You got to open this one. But have yeah. you ever do you popped want, it up? I want you to do that. Like the pop up. Yeah, enjoy. I actually have opened one of these before. I got my little brother. A booster box i let him and his friends open it so i'm pretty sure this goes behind somehow we're figuring this out live like we said off the cuff oh perfect look at that nailed it and uh if left, we were to buy this at 7-eleven this is what it would look like we'll just do you do left i'll do right but uh hey you know what you take five i take five and right. let's uh let's pick what's heavier and then we'll talk later about all right um some more assets What's heavier, and then we'll uh, we'll measure. Oh, I'm gonna choose the eight this time. I'm going for the eight. This is light. I feel like. Oof, oof. Kind of tough. I'm thinking this one. All right, let's just save these for the end. All right, and then you go first. All right. So I'm gonna so, put some of these over here. Uh, did I just open the last one? Oh. Missouri. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's well, make sure we get the card trick right. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's three from the back to the front, right? That's what we decided, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we go, here's the code, if you don't mind. One, two, three to the front. <laughs> We're gonna find out, is that three or is that two? That was three, <laughs> Okay. I think. <laughs> Air across, electroid, beware. Okay, yeah, so far so good. I have three. Nose pass, okay. Wingle. I think we did it. Coughing. Bronzor. Toxel. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I love the colors. I just love the colors. Appleton. Uh, is that a hollow? It is a hollow. It's a hollow. A hollow. It's All very, right. definitely get the light on it some more. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but definitely a beautiful hollow if you hit it at the right angles. Uh, the hollow definitely looks consistent throughout, um, and uh, it's a it's a very good. I would say it's a very good card. Cool. Very good pool. Very nice. So I will go this time. Um, you know, collect what you like. Exactly. That's why we're here with these with these cards. It's just really nostalgic. Even though we're not so caught up on the newest gens, but uh, it's just fun. I mean, this is definitely a craze right now. But when you could make three hundred thousand dollars on a card. Um, you know, it's hard not to, to join in that fun. So Pokey Life Lessons, I just gave one general advice that you can give to someone that's okay. young. What, what's one advice that you'd give to someone that's young? Uh, I said physical assets. I like that. Um, mine would probably be, uh, that's a really good question. I've been wanting to say a lot lately, buy tech stocks or buy, if you're going to buy stocks, I know that completely contradicts what you said about like buying physical yeah. things that are fun. Yeah, yeah. But I would say over the last eight years, those stocks have just exploded. And so you're saying invest in the future? Yes, invest absolutely. Future. Absolutely. You got it. Green energy, um, solar, um, uranium. Um, I think we've kind of talked about this. Anything with electric vehicles, we've seen it go crazy. And I had the education, you probably did too, where it's like base it off of the fundamentals, right? Base it off right. the cash flow. Everything right. now is just speculation. It it's is. rampant speculation. But you know what? That's the way of the future. You know, when, when Star Trek came on, they had these self-opening doors and these tasers and stuff. And everyone's like, oh, that's so futuristic. It's never going to happen. Now every supermarket has self-opening doors. I mean, all it took was for someone to think in it, and it's become a reality. Video games, VR is already becoming a thing. I still think VR has still got a long way to go because our generation is used to having handheld controllers. But it's going to have a future. Uh, this beautiful, 
uh, Tranquil, it's an uncommon. And for the rare, we have a Sigilif, which is I think an older gen. And it is honestly beautiful artwork um, on that one. And there's the energy. So I'll take these out. All right, you're up. So. Yeah, I agree. So like, I was thinking about this the other day because my cousin's trying to invest. It's like, if you are gonna have a Robin Hood portfolio or a digital portfolio, same thing as what you're saying. Like what you're investing in. Like, like uh, we've got silver here. We've got Pokemon cards. Like the asset. Treat it like a collection. Treat your stocks like a collection. Maybe that's the way of the future. I agree. People are going to start showing each other. And I'm glad other. you're telling your cousin Lavender Goons that, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> your cousin Lavender Goons. Ah, gotcha. We're not naming any names. All right. Oh, a nugget. We already got a hollow of this. But, like, it's fun it's to show oh, each other. Oh, this is a fun card. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to show each other our Robin Hoods and just see how much you're whipping me, but also, like, what you invested and why. I think that's really cool. You know, same with... I always have a reason for doing anything, and that's what I think good decision-making is all about. Like, you buying precious gold and metals, it's really all about good decision-making in life. And, you know... Gold doesn't go away. Like your house could burn down. Gold just melts and you can pick it back up and you still have a value there. Right. Ooh, this wow, is, you've this been is crushing really nice... it. I'm just oh going to make you open everything. Gosh, look at this. Sanaconda V. Again. Wow. Not really sure what it is. Looks this like is a, a hollow. Look at the eyes. I'm sure the camera, I'm trying to make sure the camera grabs this. Um, it's kind of beautiful here. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. So... Hopefully, you guys can see Sand Breath, 220 damage. This is no joke of a card. So, I would not want... I mean, this is a beautiful card. Do you see the blacks are darker? I mean... We didn't have these back then. This is just amazing. You kids. This is like an OLED version of cards. <laughs> I think you, see, you can see the reflection off the camera. Everyone it's loves shiny beautiful. cardboard. Everyone loves shiny cardboard. It's so beautiful. These uh, Poke Tubers. That was another thing I wanted to talk about is how yeah. these people on YouTube make millions of dollars. It is amazing. We are definitely living in a different day and age where you can be a content provider like that, a YouTuber, and make millions of dollars. Um, someone told me years ago what they wanted to be when they grew up was a, was a YouTuber. I laughed at them, right? Joke's on me now because I sit at a desk eight, nine hours a day, and these people are living in California with mansions. I butchered that. Um, yeah, go for it. They're Thank living you. in California with mansions, and they are just buying whatever they want. They're pulling Logan Pauls. They're becoming pro boxers, all because they just do some dumb stuff on YouTube. And that's where our generation is going. It's We're becoming more and more digital that we have to connect through things like YouTube, for better or worse. And you know, hopefully, we're all becoming more technologically advanced for it. But um, that is another thing I've seen over the years that's pretty amazing. I couldn't, could not agree with you more. Wow, is that you? Uncommon. All right. Oh wow. V. So that is that's one of a my hollow first too. V cards. Yeah. Wow, pretty that is lucky. beautiful. Look at that card. Awesome. Don't know anything about this guy. I feel like they probably made a Disney movie about him just <laughs> based on the character. Cool. All right, you're up next. Let Do you have leave this? Did I steal all the packs? I, I feel like I stole all the packs. Those are the two that we weighed. Okay. And then this is the last one, and then we pull from here. Perfect. So, gotcha. Yeah. I mean, we're having some pretty good pulls, I would say. I would say, yeah. yeah I don't know the pull lot. rate, but we got to get those yeah, rainbow We're, we're giving out cards. life lessons. We are, um, we're really, really attempting. Um, YouTube stardom here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, famous or not. We're better than those other YouTubers anyway. Look That's at the right. quality. We know exactly what we're doing. We can weigh <laughs> the cards with our hands. <laughs> Wait, training court. Boo. Yeah. Lamp 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 mm. Ooh, I bet you those two. That's one right after another evolution right there. It's pretty good. Oh, God. Why do we keep getting Voltorbs? Growl is beautiful. Oh, wow. That is Barascuda. Is that a <laughs> Is that a rare? Uh, it's hollow. It's reverse hollow. Followed by this. And this is our rare. Ludicolo. Looks kind of lame to me. But that other one was pretty neat. All right. Let's see. I think I'm up next. Again, these were the ones we weighed, right? Looks yeah. Like I was the... this weird alien guy. Well, Shoot. that kind of messed up because I had the ape thing. 
No, those are the two. These are the these two. These are two, yeah. Let's put these here. I can't think. It's all yeah, good. I'll just put them right here. We are no, at we the end of a work stuff. day. We're not full-time YouTubers, if you can't tell. So at yeah. the end of a we, work day. We also day. don't buy five trainer boxes, go through them perfectly, and then choose the perfect cut. That's true. Yeah, it makes you wonder how much of that is like staged. So before I do that, here's that. And Thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. Got it. Starting off with the Skyla here. Luxio, Dracoloc, Dropy, Magmar, Yamasak, Surskirt, Stuffle, a Reverse, Galarian, Mr. Mime. That's a cool looking card. Ooh, this is a Toxtricity V Max. So, this is that weird alien thing that's on those packs and that's like, wow, on the that's box a right there. nice looking card. Yeah, these are insane. That's I, just an amazing card. These would have blown my mind, you know, 20 years ago. This is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, by the way. Wow, today? Uh, this month, I think. Probably today, honestly. Wow, that is just amazing. So doing this so, at just a prime time. Let me just leave this really quick because this is just a beautiful card. Yeah, no, go ahead. I mean, I can't imagine. This. So today um, we're going through 36 plus 4, 44 packs, and we're on a roll. Yeah, we're trying to speed it up for you a little bit, respectful of your time. I feel like what we're doing good of, because we don't know half these Pokemon, but I feel like we're giving some good insights. Because over the years, like... Things like Robin Hood, I couldn't imagine it. Things like um, investing in Tesla, right? I think I butchered that for sure. Um, you know, the whole GameStop craze, I wasn't supposed to bring that up, but you know, to the moon. Um, we live in a different day and age. And yeah, you have to embrace it. Like you, you are living, I will say that to anyone that's younger, you're definitely doing a lot more than we were doing. But it doesn't necessarily equ equate to progress. You know, movement doesn't necessarily mean progress. So one of the other lessons that I'll give you is uh, make sure you're progressing towards something in life. Um, and never give up on uh, what you're looking for. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful That was a card. lovely life lesson and a lovely reverse rare. Ooh, followed by, is that holographic? It yeah, is. it nice. is a very nice you holographic. You that. Wow. Those are two back-to-back -back bangers. That is a term I learned wow. from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are nice juicers here. <laughs> <laughs> very good. All right, so uh, that's your turn here. Away. Let's see, uh, I believe in you. Did you pick a random deck or? Uh... So did we go through our heavy packs or we sell do you wanna? Out? Do you wanna do that last? <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's let's go. I was just thinking we just kind of do a novelty just to just to see who's uh who's got the weighted hands, the diamond hands at the end. This one's heavier. Oh, I was thinking you just go go ahead and randomly open it, but that's okay. I do want to see I'm thinking these two are the heaviest. Do me the honors. I think that's the heaviest. This is very heavy. Yeah, I will very fall. heavy. Oh my god, I can barely lift this. I do have a gram scale, and I hate to admit what I bought it for. I bought it to weigh cards at a oh dollar my god. store once. I know, I know, I know. Uh, everyone, I have to apologize. These are both heavy, but I think this is heavier. Okay, fine. I'll open this one. So I did go to a dollar let's, store once. A let's few... open these back to back. Okay. Yeah. Um. I opened, uh, or I went to the dollar store and I tried to weigh these packs. I bought a $10 gram scale and I was like gonna just only buy the heaviest packs. And at the end of it, um, I just kept getting, I bought like five packs to test because I wanted to be super lame with my money because a dollar is apparently too much for me. I ended up getting three reverse, like non, like non rares. And wow. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Also, I felt really dirty doing that. You know, people weigh these packs. Five or six years ago, I bought a jungle pack and I bought it for like $20. Here's the reverse. Wow, it's a burning scarf. That's beautiful. And here's a Cramorant non-haul. Non so these are pretty, Wow, so we were wrong. I was 100% wrong. We were wrong. both wrong on this. Maybe, maybe they're trying to fool us with the weight, you know? Yeah, well, I know the TC, the Pokemon card company did do that for a while. They would put in like extra cards or these code cards to to screw you all up so yeah i tried to weigh the packs i didn't really have good success i would say that i did buy only the heaviest packs and they did have non or they had the reverse hollows in them so that did work to an extent but afterwards i just felt bad so i still have the gram scale we could pull it out and check wow this is interesting horror energy look at that that's kind of yeah that's insane game's gotten more complicated over the years you know yeah that's probably true Another weird card. Stunky. 
Ooh, a uh, Grubin. We haven't seen this one before. Interesting. Wow, both of them both not hollow. Uh, we kind of messed this up. We uh, we yeah, we're just weighing wrong. It looks like we're down. just gonna have to rock and roll. We're gonna have to recalibrate. Right. Actually, you know what's interesting? I have that, and I, I'm gonna be shamed forever on YouTube from the ten people who watch. Oh this gosh. Show. We're gonna pull out this grand scale, whatever it is. I don't recommend doing that, boss. All right. Actually, it's not down here, so we're not going to. Oh, did you leave it at the store? <laughs> <laughs> probably. It's uh, it's probably upstairs. I swear, last time I was able to do this by having a little bit of dust on here or something. I was able to weigh these by hand, but this time I'm not so lucky. So the booster box I got when I opened it with my brother was, um, oh, I think it was like black and white and it's called like indefinite treasures or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, that's easily a thousand dollar booster box now. Wow. Um, if we had just kept it. Um, so funny um, how life is all about patience in some ways. Yeah, absolutely. A great lesson right there. Um, patience about caring what you invest in. Um, and, and realizing that progress has got to be, you know, have a good reason behind it. Moving forward isn't always, you know. It necessary. reminds me in the, in the, you know, in the TV show that Team Rocket was never the enemy. It was Ash fighting himself, really, that developed into such a good person. Really? That's cool. I never, yeah, it's I was of, too uh, young to make sense of that. Well, no, I watched, I rewatched it because I'm. Another Snorlax. Oh my gosh. We're, we're having tough pulls today. Tough pulls. But he was always trying to better himself is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, really, at the end of the show, it was about, you know, Ash developing his emotion, emotional intelligence to be uh, to be where he's at today. So, is it my turn to open? Yeah. I believe so. I was just showing some but pack arts of all this craziness. Dude, it's amazing. This We're going to have to... I wonder if you can keep these arts and then sell them on eBay later, because I'm opening them pretty perfectly, you know? We've had a few good ones, for sure. Well, I can already see Voltorb. Look at how perfectly I'm opening them, by the way. Thank you. All we need is about 10 rainbow rares, and then then we'll be rich. Thank you. So I'll show this here. Yep, 10 rainbow rares coming right up. All right, here's the diamond hands. We got the full heel, training <laughs> court. Ooh, we haven't had this one yet. Hmm. What is that? A du dublade. Dublade is French. <laughs> dublade. Double day. Oh, I, feel, I can see the diamond hands already working. That's insane. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Wow, look at that. Meditai then... Reverse. Ooh, non-hollow. No, hollow. Malvar V. Malamar V. Full oh. R, right? I wow, believe. this is beautiful. Nice, nice yeah. job. Crush another, it. Another diamond hands pull? Yeah, I think I should just let you open all these packs because mine have been... I did get that bolty dog or whatever. But uh, I think you're doing the I best. I think you're going to make your comeback right here. So, I hope so. I'll show this. Perfect. One, two, three is the is the trick, the diamond hands trick. I'm already getting ahead of myself. Please leave in the comments your best life lesson that you've gotten uh, in general. We'd like to hear from you. It doesn't matter what age you are. If you're in your 30s or in your 20s, here's that oh, funny Oh, my gosh. Voice. We actually got a hollow Ooh. man. Oh it. my gosh. So pull up the other one and compare them. I've, we got this before, but why does this one look so much cooler? Is it because I pulled it? We don't have this. I could have oh, sworn yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me put these in a, the full arts in a separate pile because you are absolutely correct. We did get that. Uh, no, it's right before this one. Yeah, look so, this. so one, they're both Santa Conda V's. They're looking the different ways. One is 108 out of something, and this is 184. So I'm not really sure what the difference is. They have the same attacks. It's really interesting. I guess someone might have to hit us up in the comments for so why these the are same, different. Yeah, why would they? I mean, we I know that you know Blastoise had two different versions. And, okay, maybe um, it's just that. Here, I'll look it maybe, up in the little book they gave us. If you don't, while you while you open, I'll look it up in the book and see. I don't know if this would be in the book, would it? Oh, Santa Condo. We're going to find out. Trusty yeah, little these, guide here. Whoops. Yeah, very amazing investment here. I'm going to pull. Hey, if, going order here. If at least you're stuck with them and you enjoy them, then you can't lose. I think that's kind of what you're hinting at. Collect what you like, right? Exactly. If it ends exactly. up going down in value, then if you, as long as you don't overpay and as long as you enjoy having them, um, then it's okay. 
We're living the boring parts of life so you don't have to. <laughs> That's my advice to everyone. We open the doors for you to become a YouTuber. And uh, enjoy opening up booster boxes. So to me, it just looks like an ultra rare because I did find it in this booklet. I think we might have a good pull again. In, uh, All right. Galerian Darmuka. Dar Dar yeah, I don't know how to say that. Hatena. So one's just the full art and one's oh, just the, the full heel? Art. Come on, don't tease me like that. Oh, are you kidding? This was a horrible pull. Boo. My worst pull of the day. Do it again, do it again. I want to find... Uh, I can look for it. Okay, so I it. found... I, I'm not going to ask leave this. Yeah, wheel. that's fine. Um, I found this Santa Conda here, but I th and it says U for ultra rare, but I think um, the other one is like regular full art. I'm not really sure. So. Yeah, so you found the 184 and the other one... Oh, right, there's uh, 108. Good point. There's a uh, 108. Yeah. You, using our heads would be smart. There we go. Yeah, so this is not as okay. rare. So it's just so the just full so art rare. YouTube is aware. This one is just a regular art and uh, looks like this one, which is what Tim pulled, is, is a, a much, rare. much better rare card. Very, very big pull. Biggest pull of the day so far. Tim's my middle name, by the way. All right, let's rock and roll. Um, oops, I got to do three uh, from the back. All right. And here we go. Heat more. Charcoal. Carcoal. Dan. That's going to be a memorable card. <laughs> Dan. Daramuka, Vulpix, Lovely, Milsery, Farfetched. A nasty looking Meowth. What the heck is wow, going on? Wow, that looks there? amazing. That is gross. Here we got a Lombre. It's not a rare, but absolutely gorgeous card. Love the art. And we've got this Barrascuta that we saw in reverse before. So. Nothing too special there. Anything worth sleeving? Uh, maybe the lumbre. I mean, it's just pretty. Let's leave it really quick. We're just running out of sleeves because I sleeve some uh, cards that I don't think are worth the sleeve. Uh, we just got to get back to back to back rainbow rares now. Wow. That's all I need. This has been a blast. I don't know. It's not every oh, day that you get worst. to open a booster box with your friend. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, really, I really appreciate moments like this in life. Yeah, just soak it up, enjoy it. And now we're videotaping it, so we have it forever. Exactly. Oh, another name. <laughs> Dan. Dan. <laughs> Trubbish, literally garbage card. Ooh, Oops. that's crazy. Is that a reverse? It is. So this crazy per circle, which is insane. And this is cool looking. Is that a rare? Uh, 116, so I don't know. Yeah, it, it is. Be... That is a cool reverse. Yeah, that is cool. I'm gonna well, grab these. I'm not. Should I sleep this? You think? Yeah, sure. The reverses. Why not? We. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We are running we'll out of sleeves now that uh, we look I'll at it. I'll go through and take out some of the full heels and stuff that we. Sleeved. Yeah, no one likes trainers unless they're golden. Then we like the golden trainers. All right. Try to get this centered here. We have to speed up, realize this, but it's not every day you open 44 booster packs, especially not when they're sold out around the U.S. So we are taking our sweet time, but we're enjoying it. Yeah, I think you've had some better life lessons than me, um, but know. that's good. I you think, know, you know, uh, Pokey Life Lessons, comparison is the thief of happiness. Excellent. Wow, just crushing it today. And that's so true. You just need to be a better you every day. Be better than you were yesterday. And even then, if you if you skip a day or miss a day, we all make mistakes. I mean, I think that's huge to point out that even though you're always moving, sometimes you're not always moving forward. But as long as you're doing the best you can or giving it a good effort, I mean, there's not much more you can ask for. Because think about it, life is both short and long. It's short when you're having fun, right? Time flies. But it's long when you have to make decisions. And uh, if you're going to be, wow. Surprise. If you're going to be making decisions, wow. um, you know, just that is a crazy, don't be too hard on art. yourselves. Yeah. Look at that. Really that is amazing. So it's probably not one of the like ultra rares, but loving it. Looking good. So let me just throw yeah. this here because perfect. we'll just kind of sleeve most of the full arts here. Yeah. Don't this be hard beautiful. on yourselves. We got a lot of decisions to make, a lot of time to make a lot of decisions. So you're going to make mistakes. Just uh, that's how you learn. I think it was Yoda. Um, who said that um, 
mistakes are the best teachers, something along those lines. Mm. Yeah. Mistakes are the best teachers. Mistakes you make, That's teacher. <laughs> something like that. Now I'm going to have to Google it. I think it. I was okay. very close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because Luke burned the, burned the Jedi... Um, manuals and he's like no it was an accident yoda's like come on man you learn best from mistakes don't worry about it. Beautiful. beautiful yeah and feel like we've seen that one all right we got two piles going but we got to speed it up here another crazy art i think this is i don't i literally forget this guy's name this looks like a freaking insane alien well, I will say it reminds me of your cousin Lavender Gooms. <laughs> I don't know who that is. And then your other cousin Ovaltine Jenkins. All right. I have some <laughs> cousins right. with some weird names. All right, three from the back, one, two, three. I will say in the last eight years or whatever, I don't know, six, seven, eight years, wow, mass Korean, that aliens are not still not like a well-documented thing. Now, in the age of Snapchat and TikTok, if aliens were real, we would know uh, by now. Honage, that's crazy. That's like a Zelda sword. Look at that. <laughs> Hair cross. Wow. Just uh, uncommon. Beautiful Arcanine, but non hollow. So, you know, everyone, when, when we were kids, is like, are ghosts real? Or are aliens real? Maybe somewhere in the universe they are. But in this day and age, if they had hit Earth, granted, the government has come out with that crazy UFO footage from time to time. I know there's all sorts of crazy stuff lying around, but. Uh, Nope, we're in 2021 20, right now, people, and aliens are not real. Yeah, it's kind of tough to tell because, you know, we give away Miss Universe. Like, we're 100% <laughs> sure that there's no aliens out there. It kind of just really makes me offended for uh, all the other, the whole universe's, uh, That's true. you know, female uh, competitors. We have a um, superiority complex. We, we yeah, clearly think every we're year. Best. We give out a Miss Universe, and I have a problem with it every year because um, I don't know about that. Well, I guess uh, I guess when it happens, we'll deal with it then, right? Until well, then, had you ever seen the Fifth Element? There was this like lady, alien lady who sang opera. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, yep, yep. That's she a beautiful kind of, scene. I mean, in Star Wars, they had like Jabba the Hutt with like the the slave girl who was on the chains, not Slave Leia, but the other one. I forget. What Are you saying they are. copied? Star Wars and George Lucas? Probably. I mean, that was in the 70s. It's a great movie. Yeah. Fifth Element was in the 90s with Bruce Willis. A beautiful movie. Which uh, is Directed by uh, Luke Besson, right? It's a Luke Besson film, if I remember. Which one? Fifth Element. He did The Professional, and he's kind of French. I don't know. I do not know. Uh, All I, could I be know wrong. is that is a fun movie. That you know, we had some really great watch. movies in the 90s, like Demolition Man. Uh, True Lies. Oh, another one. No lotto. Wow, you are having some great pulls right now. I wonder if Diamond Hands. Same. That's right, and a Caterpie. Beautiful, but just common. Uh, yeah, those were good movies, but there were some pretty aliens in them, so that's kind of all I was saying. Oh, yeah. Um, did you... I mean, even Predator. Did you hear the story about how, like, uh, you know, James Cameron kept looking around? And apparently it was the, he took a flight um, and the person he took, uh, he sat next to was the, uh, was the person that uh, could do creative art for, uh, he designed a couple monsters. No way. And uh, he's the one that designed uh, the Predator. Uh, if I remember right, please correct me if I'm wrong, which I 99% am incorrect most of the time. <laughs> Just like old Team Jenkins, but we don't talk about him very much in the family. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I ever told you. I sat on a plane next to a guy with a Rolex. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Not bad. All right. Palpatoid. You want a, if you want a bad card, you want Palpatoid. You That's know. right. Ooh. Diggersby, be non -hollow. Head butt bounce. <laughs> All right. They're just there getting weirder and weirder. I, I don't know if I told you. I sat to, next to a guy on an airplane once with a Rolex, and I said, okay, you have a Rolex. What's your story? And he said, <laughs> I trade. Um, he, he, trade he was divorced. No, he he was. <laughs> I, I don't know where this is going now. But uh, he was doing arbitrage on foreign exchange, FX. Wow. And so I have his number. I, I still think he was. That's legit. how your cousin lost all that money, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I actually don't. Have you ever done any FX? or? Uh, no, I try to stay away because you know what's funny about FX trading is that uh, F, the code F, actually stands for January instead of February. 
And if February is like M, correct me if I'm wrong. So March, May, apparently don't need M. What the so heck? yeah, it's kind of, I'll never touch features. It's just like, you have to memorize those codes and um, I'm not a great uh, nothing, nothing memorizer. Better. Well, okay. Anyway, I wasn't sure if you knew anything about it, but it's always interesting who you sit next to on a plane, what could happen. Yeah. Have you sat next to any interesting people? Probably not lately, because we're uh, through. I actually, actually, this is a true story. I sat, I sat next to someone that talks so much to me, and uh, the person next to me complained to the uh, the hostess, the airline hostess, and they came up to her and told her to uh, to stop talking, and it was really awkward Ooh. Um, Ooh. because it was like, wait, she was just nervous. I feel like you know, um, which hmm. is. You know, just something that happens. What was the context of that? Like, what happened? I was just in a flight, and she just couldn't stop talking for like it was a four-hour flight, and, and it was for like two and a half hours. Oh, and then the host is like, she was like, "Hey, people are sleeping. Do you mind, uh, like, you know, keeping it down?" She's, oh Ooh, God, why would we need this? Another banger of a head. Wow, here we go. We don't even have this. A V Max Intellion V Max. This has got to be in 20 years. This might be worth millions. That's right. You're you're looking at a future millionaire. Of course, with all this monopoly money we're printing, million dollars is probably like a twenty dollar bill. Yeah, when you watch this video in 20 years, you probably are buying bread with 20 million dollars. That kind of thanks to printer going burr. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter Ben. Actually, he's no longer there. But uh, you yeah. really sleeve this, huh? You must like it. I I like that color. I don't. I found a, a pile of like thirty sleeves over here. Oh, you found them? Yeah, oh, they were what? hiding. Yeah. Oh, great. So we we can sleeve up everything. Oh, that's great. I'll I'll back in, this uh, one. Some of our um, ones we haven't sleeved yet. Where were you going on that flight, by the way? Uh, I can't remember. I think Salt Lake City or something like that. But I was flying from the East Coast to Salt Lake City. So, oof, that yeah. sounds like quite a lengthy flight. It was not fun. Was that for a job? Yeah, I, or? you know what, kids uh, that are watching this, yeah, I I flew uh, three hundred days out of one year. I was barely home, and uh, I, I I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of adventure, but I would not do it again. That's what, yeah, do I've only again. done business travel so, once and I felt like it was a lot. 300 yeah, is insane. Yeah, you're, you're good to rock and roll. Because I think we, oh, we don't have a stone burner, but. Oh, we're good. Oh, that she wants to get. leave this stone burner. I feel yeah. like I should have just a little small pile over here. I'm, I'm wishful thinking. Stone burner. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. In the sleeve. Very Beautiful. smooth. Very smooth <laughs> action. The PSA graders in 20 years when they look at this and try to determine if this is a thousand dollar card or a million dollar card are going to see how smooth that action was. Cool. Never heard of a stone journer. It's literally a stone with like a smiley face on it. So. All right. Here comes the diamond hands. <sighs> oh, not quite. Big letdown. Not quite. But on an Arcanine, you know, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful guy. It's I will sleeve the that too because we don't have a sleeve, a uh, reverse hollow. All right. Yeah, flying is uh, not too fun when, when you have to do it for your job. I mean, at least you get to charge your hours, but it just it's kind of weird to like have to go to the hotel and still be on the clock when you want to go like out for dinner or watch a movie. At least they pay for your food. So business travel is yeah. not all that. And I have a feeling it's all going to get like, with everything going so digital now, that's got to be coming down, right? Isn't that why the Concorde went out of business? Or is it just because I was a, like a crappy design? Uh, I think, uh, you know, anything that goes, uh, even these new companies that are going really fast, um, they'll realize that the weight to speed ratio, it's physics. Um, it's physics. So you are fighting everything that's not supposed to happen. So it adds up. Um, and I don't know who's going to pay for $20,000 flights. Even though they're eight hours, especially now that we're living in a ever so um, collaborative world of electronics. I mean, I see young kids, uh, you know, meeting people that uh, across the world. You know, we're we're breaking down the barriers of global trade and and social. Um, so it's it's very interesting side that we're going towards. Oh, that was a lot of pink cards right after each other. Yeah, it that is a true. cool holographic. Shine that one in the light. Yeah, that's really cool. I don't know if you can see. It's like a disco dance. Cursola, there... huh? I feel yeah. like I've heard of that. I wonder if that's like I'm a sleep both gem. these because we don't have uh, both of these. 
I think um, because of how connected we're getting and, and digitized and et cetera, like you said, you can talk to people and that we're going to share ideas faster than ever. Quite frankly, it's, it's very optimistic for the human race, but it does make me wonder what kind of takeaway, like at the end of the day, all of our morals and cultures are going to start to merge. And it makes me wonder what the future is going to look like. It's not a bad thing. It just, you know, things are so changed now, you know, it is just amazing to see um, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. One, two, three. It's amazing to see even in our lifetimes how things have changed. Um, so like I remember cell phones, right? Like we used to have those like Nokia things that could like withstand a nuclear attack. And now it's all iPhones, but they're $1,000 and they only last you two years until Apple comes along and ooh, oh, that is wow. nice looking Oh, wow. That color. is different too. And Teleon, yeah, I wow. feel like we... That looks like a gecko, versions. like a female gecko. What That's what it's got to be, yeah. Yeah, cool. that's amazing. Oh, you can yeah, see yeah, that yeah. one all out. Now make sure you take care of that puppy. That was a PSA 10 right there. Boom. I've never seen one. We know all about PSA card grading. Yeah, it's like an MS65P. That's right. We've got some coins also going on. Maybe that'll be a future video. Probably a little bit more sustainable than Pokemon because Pokemon is just so expensive and hard to come by that coins now are like like the redheaded stepchild. Nothing against redheads, but uh, to collectability. It's all about cards these days. <laughs> Freaking That Pelipper. is a cute card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Milo. Friends Milo. with Dan. Dan. That crazy meow. Insane. Oh man, a candle? Really? Mm, probably a common. What is this? Sleeping Beauty? Oh, we here? had one of those. That is oh, man, it's a letdown. Well, we still got our heavy oh, packs no. coming up, but we're approaching well, here's the end two so. heavy packs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what we got. Are they both the same? So we're not going to know whose is whose. One day no, someone's no. going to be able to come back. I and chose watch. the Hulk one, and you chose the. Uh, Serpent. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to try to accelerate this to cut it sure. to under an hour, potentially. Sure. We don't really care too much about these guys. What we want to see is the reverse. We want you guys to have the fun with us because this is definitely fun to open a box. But we, we want to see is a shiny, shiny cardboard. Look at that real quick. That's worth a second. Wow. Sweet. That is amazing. All you. Yeah, well, if you don't mind holding this oh, up yep, to the sure. camera. Whoop. Thank you very much. And then we're just gonna cut right here. Oh wow, this is actually, is this a rare? I feel like that's a rare, did I mess it up? I don't mm -hmm. think I did. You're okay. Ooh, even an impy dimp here. Oh, a Pokeball Trainer, Ooh, hollow. That is nice. And an Eprezerker. All right, done with this card. I'm gonna sleeve this here. We're coming down to the wire here, folks. That is what opening a booster box sounds, looks, and feels like. Hopefully you got a little bit of life lessons in there, what we've learned over the years, what we've seen over the years. Just apply that to your lives too. Realize change is constant and everything's fluxing, you know? Change is always that happening. word, fluxing. Fluxing. Oh, thank you. We are sharing and helping each other out here. Thank you. And then if you want to get started, Pelican, Bronzazong, Nugget, Panigle, Skyther, Volibee, I'm mispronouncing these. Magmar, awesome card. Zassian, which is a rare, and that is a cool looking card. And a Sizer, which we've seen before. Yep, that's from yep, the past. Yep. We've seen those before. And then here we go. Ooh, that's a cool card. Cool card. Tool Scrapper, Voltorb, Fry, Creepy, Snower, Iron, oh, a Hollow, Wingle, and a Trevon. Uh, okay, I guess the last one goes to me. Um, well, we have three more. Three huh? more, yep. We can do right. it though. So, so, this is just the extra, and then we do our little. That contest. is what the empty box looks like, people, for all you guys who care. This could be history one day. Probably not, but probably, who knows? The way cards are going, it's insane. I did hear the Pokemon company is going to start reprinting some cards. I don't know which sets, but that can really kill, I think, some, some value, you know. And, Part of me, I like it in one sense, but for hardcore collectors, like imagine if you bought a card for like a thousand dollars and they're just gonna reprint it, like that would hurt. So we're just having fun here for nostalgia purposes. And we totally recommend that you guys do that as well. Ooh, Al Creamy, that is a funny name for a card. All right, 
All right, let's open your well, heavy. Here's the grand finale. Oh, I chose oh, the oh. Hulk one, and he chose this serpent or gecko. Um, I don't know if you want to. Let's open this one up and see what we're looking at here. Let's, uh, well, if you don't Oops. mind, thank you very much. For the fans. You know what's funny is your cousin Oval Team wouldn't help us out if we asked him to. You know? <laughs> Kid's just useless. <laughs> I wonder I how much these Sonias are worth. Probably like 10 cents. In 10 years, though, 100 bucks, PSA 10. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. So big Madden letdown. Are. Big oh, letdown man. because we thought this would be a. This a could big be thing. it. This could be the rainbow or the it. golden card. I don't I know if it. we got one. We'll have to do a recap briefly. Any final last words, I'd say. I think you've given us some good life lessons, so thanks for joining. Again, I appreciate thank you, you having me. I'm so honored to be part of uh, this YouTube channel and uh, looking forward to its growth and history. Um, <laughs> maybe one day I'll see your videos in the Library of Congress. I hope so. You know, that's how Mr. V started, was with like seven subscribers, and now he's just giving away millions of dollars. Oh. That is such a wow, cool way. I think, wow, that, that one deserves a sleeve. That, that is, is a rare. So nice. Ooh, okay, blast from the past, from the final pack. Final pack magic. Didn't get some sort of crazy card, but we'll take a Gyarados and a Ninetales. I mean, that's beautiful. That's Very good. beautiful cards. Beautiful so I'd cards. say let's recap and let's call it quits here. So here we go. Here's all the major packs. full arts. All right. And then I'll find you some... Uh, Inteleon V, one Mississippi. Inteleon V Max, two Mississippi. Melotic V, three. Rillaboom V, four. Melotic V, and that's a repeat, five. Copperja V Max, six. Sandaconda, seven. Sandaconda V, eight. Boltund V, nine. Toxtricity V Max, 10. Malamar V11. So it looks like we got 11 of these kind of full art, super ultra rare guys. Didn't see any rainbow rares. Didn't see any of the gold cards, unless one of these secretly is. Still just amazing to, to see these and open these. I mean, we Here's have some had honorable this mentions as well. Just <laughs> these are all foiled. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. All PSA 10s. Um, if we started our own company, I'd name him a PSA 11. Um, <laughs> naturally, I put the Snorlax in here. This is not hollow. Yeah, I was wondering um, why that was in there. But it's just Snorlax, that's why. That's fair. And then a Cursula, just a beautiful, beautiful card. Yeah. And then uh, naturally, we pulled this last year. And then uh, look at that, just beautiful cards. Oh, um, yeah. So I think that's probably going to do it for us. We've had a nice long video. It's not every day you get to open number one, Pokemon cards, number two with your friend, and number three with the booster box. Uh, shout out to our friend from Florida who also uh, gave us this opportunity. He's going to be the first person to like and subscribe to the channel. Big, big shout out to Florida. Florida man. <laughs> Some people call him Alex, but that is not his real name. So he'll mm -hmm. know what we're talking about. Funny right. story, he also has cousins with weird names, but, you know, I promised I wouldn't talk about that or any stories related to to him, so. So that is it, folks. We got a Short and Shield Elite Trainer Box, eight booster packs. Then we've got this Rebel Clash booster box, 36 booster packs. All these full arts, VMAXs, Vs of all these Pokemon we've never known. Yeah. A few flashbacks is probably my golden takeaway. Love this card. Yeah, go, go build those forts in Fortnite. Go spend those Roblox on Roblox. And invest in Dogecoin. Absolutely. We'll Couldn't see not in, agree more. We'll see you in eight years. Thanks, everybody. Videos everywhere on YouTube all the time. Like and subscribe.